Hello my lovers, this is the goofiest bricklayer in Essex here and I was just wondering if you'd like to see what I've got in my tool bag. Well, I've been watching a bit of YouTube recently and I've been interested in seeing what other bricklayers and tradesmen carry around in their tool bags also known as bag of rust because we collect a load of rubbish don't we lads anyway so let's have a look what's in this old bag here and see if you've got any of the familiar tools that i might own anyway i just recently tracked myself to a new coconut brush look at that look three pounds 75 get it from any decent hardware store i got mine from steve's hardware he's a well-known chap in our town and he looked at you with a brush, so it's always good to have a nice brush. And that's the one I'm replacing. I'm replacing this one. That's a bit. That's gone a bit now. So that'll be my new washing up brush. Always good to have a washing up brush. I find anyway. Right. So we've got them two. What else have we got in here? Right. With Selgons to to minimise waste, I recommend everyone should have a block saw. I've got two here, one's an old draper, and this one was a cheap off, off of Amazon, paid about 12 quid for that. It's got like a tungsten coat of tough, every, every second tough on there, and uh, but it does the job, cuts well, not as good as a draper, but what I usually do with that now is I clean damp trays and that out with that, so I still hand it out in the, in the bag. A pair of old gloves there, as you can see, sometimes your hands get a bit worn so a pair of gloves there trowel at the moment i'm using an ox 10 inch philadelphia but i might change and go back to spear and jackson i find marshall towns are a bit overpriced at the moment and you know us bricklayers we don't like to part with too many coins do we so yeah that's, i've been using that since the start of the year so i've had a good few months out of that might might um got a new one in my van might start using it next week We've got a trail, right? Right. Club hammer, lump hammer. Good for smacking things, breaking the old concrete leaker blocks. I've had that since I was 16, and I've been bricklaying 32 years now. I got that in my YTS tool kit, and I've still got it to this day. So, wear and well, good old fashioned hickory handle. What else we got in here? Claw hammer. That's quite handy for pulling out nails where you don't want a nail. So, yeah, and, and nailing bearers and that down for windows and stuff like that. Had that in my tool bag since I was 16. Nothing fancy, just a Stanley rubber handle floor hammer. Set of wheels or a raker there, Marshall Town. Probably had that 20 years. Nail's a bit bent now, but does a job. Looks like them lead workers done it on the old lead flashing. What else we got? Ox, ox five meter rule work, tape, measure, yeah. Ox pointing trail, handy. Pointing up a bit of lead work or something like that, you know. Every Britney should have one. What else we got in here? I always like to carry this. It's like a fold up little miniature saw. And as you know, on gables and stuff like that, they're handy just to trim back four by ones, little bits of wood what shouldn't be there. So chippies, take note, I have to carry one of these because of you. Boat level. Handy just for plumbing up soldier courses and that. Don't do many soldiers now, it seems to be a lot of stonework and already prefabricated arches and all them, you know, them cheap old things they make. Scotch hammer. Cleaning the end up, making it smooth on the end of your concrete block. That's what I generally mainly use that for. Again, I think I've probably had that since I was about 16. 48 now, lads. Set of Stanley wire cutters. They're good for the old chicken wire. Coming out for your internal walls and stuff like that. Very handy. Four inch bolster. Don't know what I'd do without this. Got sentimental value. I've had that since I was 16. They don't make them like that no more. Never ever have to sharpen it or anything like that. Good bolster. Better than M4s. What else we got in here? Right, got a set of lines here. Ox line, very good. Got loads of stretch in them. 
See them pins, bit bent, footprint, probably had them since I was 16. Another set there, look. Marshalltown jointer. Not sure what the size that is, but I don't use it that often. Comes out now and then for a bit of block work and stuff like that. Got an ox standing knife here, which won't come out. There we go. Just for a bit of damn cutting back trays and stuff like that. Polythene round bricks and blocks. Lovely. Every brick you should have one of them handy. Two sets of corner blocks. I know that's Spear and Jackson, I think. Probably had them quite a few years. Always good to have a couple of sets. You never know when you're going to need, need them. What else have we got here? Right, I've got a footprint. Two inch bolts there since I've had since we've got it. 16. And look at that. I reckon that would probably been down about there when it was new. But that's just good for cleaning up damaged blocks and bricks. What might have been kicked off by generally carpenters. What else we got in here? Got a scaffold spanner. Always handy to have one of them. You never know when you might have to adjust the odd nut just to get your profiles down the side of your brickwork, whether you've got a puddle lick or something like that a bit close to your, your hole. So uh, yeah, I recommend every brick to have one of them. Got a plug and chisel there. Cut out your profile holes, anything like that. Handy little old tool to have. What else we got in here? Got a wheat bowl up. Every brick lash should carry a spare wheat bowl. You never know when you're going to need that spare wheat bowl. Screwdriver. I always use that. Breaking out your profile holes. That's always handy to wear. What else have we got in here? Right. I always carry a dessert spoon. I think I've never seen many bricklayers carry one of those before. But if you could guess what I use that for, I'll give you a, give you a pound. Anyway, I always find it quite handy to use when you have a wide DPC joint. I mean, my house here is over 100 years old, but like that, best thing for it. So a dessert spoon. Just a fillet screwdriver. Get these preformed plastic formers for your windows. They're always out of bloody square. Bloody drive me nuts. So. I usually adjust the braces with them, that's what I get good use out of that for. Um, right, I've got a selection of what I generally use and where I'm working at the moment, I prefer to use a hose, but I have different thicknesses and lengths there. And I always think that because you've got that extra width, I don't like to see a joint that's too recessed in too far. So that gives you a more flusher joint. And I look at you. Got a pencil there just for marking gauge sticks out and stuff like that. Um, what else have we got in here? Right, and I'll tell you what I else I've done. Oh, I'll tell you what else I've got in here. Spare blades for your knife. It's always handy to keep a spare one. I've got this little, um, I think it's a Stanley multi-tool thing. I think that's got a screwdriver on there and all. But you can see that anyway, that's handy for a backup tool. Anything else? Just spare scotch tufts, look. Always handy to have a spare set of tufts in your bag. Right, and down to the star, star tool. Just trek me suit to some new levels, look. You know, because I ain't been on holiday this year because that bloody COVID-19, I thought I'd spend my holiday money on some new levels. I ain't used any of them yet. You get a selection of levels in here. We've got a two foot. You've got a four foot, got a little boat level there. And I think there's another little one in there and all. That's a, oh no, I think I do it to my daughter. It was a little bubble on a, on a key ring. Anyway, that's all from me, goofiest brick iron ethics.